Steve, what did you make of a peek at the pitch? Is it more of what you've, you, I suppose, you got in Damasala, and, and is, your, is the inclination to stick with the team that, that uh, lost up there? Uh, we'll see what happens in regards to the team. Um, but having looked at that wicket, it looks pretty similar to what you get here in, in IPL, I guess. It uh, looks like a pretty good wicket and, and lots of runs to be scored. So um, a bit, bit more what we're used to, I guess. Steve, what do you do? What are you looking for when you go out there and look at the pitch when you feel it and touch it? What are the things you? What are the key signs you're looking for? Oh, that wicket at the moment's got a bit of grass on it. Um, it was a little bit wet at this stage, but obviously it's pretty hot here and dries out pretty quick. So um, I guess just looking at seeing how dry it is and, and that kind of thing. So I don't think this wicket will take as much turn as the last couple that we've seen. So um, it looks a pretty good wicket. Steve, uh, Bangladesh Kachandi Hathura Singh, Estadi was saying like that Australia normally a professional team, but this time in this World Cup they are not sure about their combination, which is a big bit advantage for Bangladesh. Do you agree on that or something like that? I'm not sure that's a, an advantage for Bangladesh. Um, we're pretty sure on on our combinations and and how our players uh, are going to play in these conditions. Um, obviously, we didn't adapt well enough in the first game, but I think the conditions here are going to be a little bit different. Um, we know what to expect from Bangladesh and, and we're ready to go. Uh, is there any change, especially Hazelo, to maybe come in the team in the first playing 11? Uh, I'm not too sure. That, uh, that's a selector's job to pick the side. Um, but, you know, that's certainly an option, um, particularly if the, the grass stays on the wicket a little bit. But we'll wait and see how we go tomorrow. Um, Steve, um, do you guys. Uh, feel a bit dotted by the schedule. Like you sort of seem to be travelling up and down the country a lot more than than anyone else. Oh, I guess that's just part of it. Um, you know, you have to to put up with with whatever you, you're served with. Um, for us, it's it's just about going out there and playing with freedom. Um, you know, not worrying too much about those kind of things. Uh, we've all played a lot of cricket recently, and we're all in good form. So. Hopefully we can play a little bit better than we did the other night and, and have a win here. It's, it's a must-win match for us, uh, every game we play now, so we need to turn it around quickly tomorrow. And, sorry, Matt, just on the pitch as well, um, yeah, you, you just don't think spin will play as much of a role in this game, maybe? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, having looked at it, it looks, well, the day before, it looks pretty similar to what a lot of the IPL wickets um, look like that we've played here. and. Generally, those games are pretty high scoring, so um, you know, I think we'll, we'll see something like that tomorrow. Hi, Steve. Uh, yeah. uh, Bangladesh will not have uh, two of their main strike bowlers uh, against you tomorrow, so do you think it gives you an advantage? Oh, I'm, I'm, they've still got some, some quality bowlers in their lineup, and you know, we don't take any side lightly. Um, you know, for us, it's about making sure that, that we do what we do well, um, what we can control, and um, if we do that, hopefully we'll have some success tomorrow. Uh, because of security reason, Australia didn't play against Bangladesh last time. And in the meantime, Bangladesh uh, will play uh, yeah, play Asia Cup run uh, final. So, do you think a Bangladesh uh, new Bangladesh team will challenge to you? Can you repeat that question? Sorry. Yeah, they're, they're obviously, um, I think they're a very much improved side. Um, you know, I think they've learned a lot under Chandika Hathra Singer as coach. Um, you know, I had the pleasure of working with him at New South Wales and he's a, he's a very good coach and he's taught them quite a lot. Um, they've improved a lot over the last couple of years and they're going to be a big challenge for us tomorrow night. We know the Australia is a very fighting side, but starting the tournament by a loss to New Zealand. How much are you confident to qualify to the semi-final? But your group is very tough. Yeah, it is a tough group. Um, there's some, some very good sides in our group, but obviously we didn't start as well as we would have liked the other day against New Zealand, but that's in the past now. Um, you know, we know what we need to do now. We need to win every game that we play if we want to win the World Cup. And it's about turning it around quickly tomorrow night. We've got a good opportunity to, to come out here and, and hopefully put on a good performance. And we know what we've got to do. We've just got to go out there and get the job done now. Does, um, does someone like Josh Hazel would come under a fair bit of consideration on a, on a pitch like that? Oh, I'm sure he'll be talked about. Um, 
you know, he's obviously got the skills, he hits the seam, and if the grass is still on the wicket like it is there, he'll, he'll certainly come into contention. And are you following the other games in the group quite closely, or is it just sort of head down and focus on what you're doing, or did you, did you watch last night? Yeah, I think, you know, all of the guys love their cricket, and we watch a lot of, you know, particularly in a World Cup, we, we watch all the games that are being played, and particularly our group games. Um, India played pretty well to win last night. It looked like another wicket that um, turned quite a lot. Um, but I thought they played really well and obviously Pakistan are a very good side as well. So it is a tough group, um, but we have to make sure we're on our game and playing to the best of our abilities. And if we do that, I'm confident that we can win our next three games. Uh, Smith, uh, any format of cricket, Australia is very good team, no doubt. But recent performance, Bangladesh is very good. So what do you think about this tomorrow match? It's going to be tough, no doubt. I think, um, you know, as I said, I think Bangladesh are a much improved side. They've got some match winners in their lineup, and we're going to be, have to be at our best if we want to beat them tomorrow night. Uh, Steve, you said you have a pleasure to work with Chandi Gahatura Singh, and he raised you very high too. Just in general, how much influence he had on your career? It's like that. Yeah, look, he was, um, you know, he's had a, a good little influence on me when he was at New South Wales. I think he reads the game really well, he, he understands batting really well, and Taught me a few things, um, you know. He, yeah, he was he was really good in the time that he had at New South Wales, and he's obviously done well to get a, a an international job with Bangladesh. And um, you know, he's done he's had a bit of success since he's been there, which is great. Hey Steve, uh, you guys are great in tests, tests and the, uh, and uh, ODIs. You, you guys are great in tests and ODIs, but I find you struggling like uh, the T20 bases. You you guys are you are you guys really like. Uh, it's not on priority basis, T20 cricket. Like, I don't see you guys, you know, perform the way, dominate the way you guys do in tests and uh, ODIs. Champ you guys have been champions of ODIs. Yeah, we, we haven't played as well as we would have liked in, in this format of the game. Um, I still think that we do have the right personnel here to, to get the job done. I think we've got a strong squad of 15 players and we've particularly got a lot of power in the sheds. Um, you know, for us, it's, it's about making sure we improve in the middle overs, um, keep the wickets in the shed so we can use that power. Um, that's going to be really crucial for us to have some success over here. But what's the reason for the youth? Like, what's the reason? Like, yeah. Like, like why? The, can, you, can you elaborate, like, the reason over why Australia has not been able to win a World D20 or why it has not been able to dominate that particular format? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, we just haven't performed as well as we would have liked. And... I think, as I said, it, for us to be successful in this tournament, it's about making sure we bat well in those middle overs. Um, we didn't do that well the other night. Um, and I think if we do that, I'm confident we'll get enough runs and our bowls will do the job to, to get us a few wins in this tournament.